Greetings special heads, welcome back to automation and today we are gonna move on with our little campaign here. Um, this would be called, um, well, wait, why is the sport version still in there? Um, give me a second here. The sport version is gonna be gone. And then we have this. Wait, what? Please load the correct trim. Thank you. And now this is gonna... Good. So this is the... This is now called... The Sandra. And... Like... I mean... I know this sounds silly, but somebody... Asked why I would call this the Sandra. And... It's, I'm just trying to crack a joke, okay, because the the truck that we've already put into production is called the Bullock. And, wait. The name didn't save. And, yeah, then this is gonna be the... The Sa Sandra? <laughs> so... And the reason why is because, obviously, a Sandra Bullock's parents only had... Like her, her mother used to drive one of these and her dad used to drive the truck and uh, at the time they gave birth to their child so there you go that's where her name comes from. Again I'm just cracking, cracking a joke but um, yeah anyway this is in production already it's doing fairly well I guess. Uh, it, it got very well received anyway so um, for now, let's move on with the year, the year 1957. The Hephaestus uh, did make it into production last time. It was also 1956, so 1957. I don't think you want to change anything. We just want to see how how our cars do, and in and. Uh, Assuming that they did fairly well, we can now, we did now make a little bit of money. So we, wait, what is this body? This body is, oh, basically this one in small, isn't it? In very small. Eh, no, not quite. There, there are some quite significant differences, actually. Uh, what do we, what, I think we want to make a, a sports car. Even though we only have a GT car, what we would really need is a is a small economy car, really. Um, four doors to make it as practical as possible, and it's gonna be cheap. For that reason, it's also only gonna have an inline four engine, not an inline six or a V eight. However, it is now 1958. It's been three years since we first introduced the. Uh, the five valve per cylinder um, yeah, engines set up. So double wishbones up front and then leaf springs on the rear. Very popular setup for that that time. What kind of tires do it? That's more than enough. Um, yeah, so first of all let's worry about the looks of this thing. Do we want to have some of these here or do we want them to be chromed just like our other cars? I think we want them to be chromed and I think actually not only that we want a set of bigger ones up here somewhere and some slightly smaller ones here then the grill right there I guess um, let's use this Actually, 
Actually, no. How about this? Looks better, doesn't it? It looks like a... Like the thing, the thing I'm going for here is a car that is actually cheap but looks kind of premium. Looks, looks uh, like it, it, it is cheaper than it looks. That's the thing I'm trying to achieve here. So there goes the front end, I guess, with a small patch here. Then some door handles on the side. We're not gonna run um, chrome chrome uh, stripes along uh, like across the across the side on this model it, it's it's not it's not that premium you know however on the rear end we will still try and um, continue our trend with the tail lights how far up can we put those all the way up here I don't think I want them to be up there though. So something like this. With the patch like there. And then a number plate. Here. And then the indicators down there. They kind of look lost though, if I, if I keep it this way. What if instead we, we give it some of these? Sure, why not? And make these white, maybe? No, I don't think so. Actually, what 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 we could also do is make like a couple of smaller ones. Like that, and then put the indicators over there. But then, what do we do with the bottom section here? It looks so empty. Uh, we put some vents there, quite frankly. Uh, some of these maybe, just to add a little bit of flavor, I guess you could say. Yeah, well, okay. So this is the, these are the aesthetics of this car now. Um, let's give it a. Yeah, actually, this dark blue fits it pretty well. I would I would say it is going to be rear wheel drive, and now we are going to put an engine in there. And then line four, cast iron, obviously. Uh, since it's supposed to be cheap, but I still don't want to have like no power whatsoever. I'm gonna go with like a one point, one point five liter maybe. 
which is a pretty which is not an unusual number for uh, 1958 cars as far as displacement goes so now we have it's it's been three years since we first introduced the uh, five valve per cylinder system and we are also going to keep to keep up with the like keep it up right here and we do not need to go all the way down to minus five quality again because we learned a thing or two from the past like three years so it's only minus three quality here compression is going to be way lower no turbo a single barrel carburetor with A single power twin carburetor is, I think, what I'm gonna go for. Then the ignition timing is gonna be relatively high. R RPM limit is gonna be low. And let's see, short cast. Actually, we can go with a cast log even. <laughs> this is so silly. I'd never build an engine like this. In like for one, f for one of my. Uh, for one of my modern cars, but then again, this is just... We're just starting out here. We're, t we're trying to establish... Uh, we're, try we're trying to build up a company. So the, the exhaust header is actually restricting airflow. And the short cast does not restrict airflow. So we get 64.6 .6 horsepower. Which is kind of in line with what I had in mind. Let's see, 65.3. That is too much. I think we want to lean it out though a little bit more because we want this thing to be economical after all. Sixty-two point two, sixty-two four, sixty-two point three, sixty-two point four. I'm 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 looking at the torque curve more than anything else, though. Mm -hmm. Can we go up to seven? Yeah, we can go up to seven point zero to one compression ratio. What an achievement! This did help our economy. So I guess I can't be too mad. Yeah. Let, let's let's keep it that way. I can't believe that this 1.5 liter inline four engine weighs 150 kilograms. That's just that's just silly. In today's age you can have a 1.5 liter turbo that weighs less than that. So, obviously, this this car is gonna have a really low top speed of about 150, something like that. Acceleration is not important whatsoever. We we really don't need a differential in this car. I would say. One twenty fives. They do seem a little bit small though, but then again, you probably don't need anything larger than that. So hard long life road tires because they're, cause they're cheap and they will probably make for the best economy. Uh, drum brakes front and rear with like 250 millimeters. 245. This will still cause some brake fade, but this this is gonna be not only a cheap but also a light car because there's not much in it. This, think of this as sort of a competitor to the Fiat 500. Yeah. 
Yeah, there we go. Very low cooling airflow. Four seats though. Well, it, it will only add 10 kilograms of weight if we... But the material cost is significantly lower on the basic interior. Let's put a, let's put a basic radio in there though. And standard safety for the 50s, whatever that actually means. Um, standard springs, this is going to be as cheap as possible. And then... Let's give it a comfortable setup so that people like driving it on everyday situations. 755 kilograms. It's very, that's very low weight and also very good fuel economy. The drivability is 31.3, which is not what I was expecting. The total cost is 4,500. I've never built a car this cheap before. 15.4 seconds. I mean for its day that's not too bad like there are cars that are significantly slower than that even today yeah i mean since this is not um since this is not a concept car anymore this, uh, this is going to be a production car that is going to be a 1958 uh, how do we call this? A small, a small practical thing. I'm gonna... I'm gonna call this Fodor for now. Even though the Vesta is a Fodor as well. Um, city car or something like that. I, I'm gonna think of a name. Um, for now, w wait, we can, can probably get some more economy out of this engine still. What actually happens if we go for two barrel with a single carb? Then our fuel octane will go down with 60.8 and 100 and 118 newton meters and also the yeah this this is what about the material cost though it's cheaper as well yeah it's cheaper as well so let us go ahead and increase the compression a bit more and the ignition timing Actually, we did reduce the ignition timing in the end. 60.8. Yeah, now we have better economy, lower costs, and the same power and torque. So this should be... Yeah, we also s uh, shaved off 3... Well, 2.4 kilograms to be precise. And it's a little bit more economical, a little bit cheaper, a little bit less hours to produce. More comfortable even. And everything else is basically the same. So what about the spacing? And this is still something we have not addressed. Fourteen point seven now. Oh yeah, that's because second gear now goes to hundred kilometers an hour. I should have thought of that before. But then again, acceleration times is not where our where our priorities lie. Um, I'm trying to get this wheel spin lower. That's what I'm trying right now. 32.8%. The, the economy figure is always green with every click that I make, but never goes below 6.5 liters. <laughs> That's also kind of funny. 
I think we've reached a point where we can't reduce the wheel spin anymore. What about... Uh... No, we're not gonna fit a differential. I'm gonna stick with my decision. Deal with it. So 31.3 drivability, 1.8 spoiliness, what a fantastic figure. Then 60.7 utility, actually it's pretty, pretty good. So this cost per year is less than a thousand dollars in today's money. So in 1958 that's like, I don't know, <laughs> gotta be like 95 dollars? <laughs> something, something like that, maybe a hundred. A hundred dollars to service a car. <laughs> Man. I'd like to live in that time with today's money though. Anyway, so this is the 1958 Civic car, which has four seats, is very economical, cheap to make, easy to drive, and not, you know, not painfully slow. <laughs> by, by, by 1958 standards at least. So hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click, please click the like button, it helps out a great deal. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.